Hello viewers, welcome to my Doctor Who themed YouTube channel, Who Ventures. And in this video, I'm going to show you Doctor Who Adventures magazine, issue 244, and it's dated the 17th to the 23rd of November 2011, as £2.50. And with this issue, you get a few slime pack. So it's just like loads of slime, which is interesting. Let's sneak it off the cover. So this is the slime I shall inspect. Mm. Shrink wrapped each one. Mm. So this is the slap. E. It is really wet and watery, it's not a solid stuff and it leaves a bit of a residue. It's you don't want to get that all over your furniture. I'd see. So I would say play with it in the kitchen sink or something because it's really messy. Yeah, that's just slime set. So that's the cover of the magazine itself. Uh, look inside. Hello time travellers. Chilly isn't it? You're stuck on earth in late November and it's dark and wintry. Luxury. I'm on the cold moon and Saladis something, where the ice volcanoes, ice canoes, blast out snow that stinks like bad eggs. And it's not easy to read Doctor Who Adventures, but also holding your nose. Just you give it a try, the Doctor. Mega Moment. Episode The Girl Who Waited. Monsters. Handbots. Chosen. By. I do want to see that person's name because I don't know how to. Chosen by Ma. The Al Al Alwasio Mantilla. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Tell us why. The handbot is ready to help Amy, but with the wrong and deadly medicine, how will she escape? There's a picture of a handbot. Scary handbot. So, that's what that page looks like. You have Geronimo Page. Um, Doctor Who was 48 years old on the 23rd of November. So that's cool, because it started in 1963. Side up to the news sector. Then all about the award. Sir Jean Adventures got nominated for two BAFTA Children's Award. Bill Ford is nominated in the Best Writer category. And the show is also up for best drama. Strange Christmas. We keep hearing snippets about the Doctor Who Christmas special. Producer Marcus Wilson revealed he'd been filming, stood in the forest until four in the morning with Matt Smith and some very strange creatures. What could they be? Will they be friends or foes? Is it set on an alien world? Have we seen these creatures before? Only a few weeks to wait to find out. Well... Wow. One week now, well less than a week. TARDIS Trend Tracker Hot Doctor Who is 48 years old this week. Our new email newsletter is looking cool. We've got lots of chocolate in the office. Not. We've eaten most of the chocks already. Now we feel sick and there's loads of work to do. And we've only got up to page 5. Ah. So that is what Jeremy Cage looks like in this issue. Now we have an article here 
about meeting all the 11 doctors. So obviously this is um, meant to be for all the people who who have just become Doctor Who fans. So it's a reminder about all who... But I can't talk today. But all who the 11 doctors are. And then how to know if it's really the doctor. Is there a police box nearby? The TARDIS is the doctor's amazing space and time ship. He'd be lost without it. Is unusual stuff happening? Wherever the doctor is, there are always strange things going on, usually involving monsters. Is he talking nonsense? Whatever body he's in, the doctor jabbers on about everything. But listen, you might learn something. What's in his pockets? The doctor carries many useful tools, including his sonic, psychic paper, string, a yo-yo and some paper clips. They have Dalek Drone Quiz. And an interview with Matt Smith talking about Series 6 and what's coming up. And a picture of him with his long hair. An interesting fast fact. Matt is a fan of Doctor Who Adventures. He says, I love seeing the magazine and I always want to play with the gifts. They're so cool. Thanks, Matt. So, yay. And then in the ARG comic strip, they have lots of creatures and it's Doctor having his birthday. Yay. Oh, And a subscription leaflet. Ten things you might not know about the Cyberman. So you've got some pictures of the old Cyberman and the big Cyber King. So that's a pretty cool poster. And River's Diary. So little bits of River's Diary and some pictures to illustrate it. So that looks cool. And a big poster, which is pretty cool, of all the doctors. Well, that is a pretty cool poster, actually. That's really cool. And my favourite poetry is the best. Generally is. It's totally the best. But 25% of personalised cards at funkypigeon.com. The office finished, but apparently you can get up to personalised cards at Funky Virgin. Kind of cool. The Frankenstein particle is a comic strip. Which looks interesting. Ah, Amy and Rory are back in this one. So that's cool. And um, your subscription page. That green... Oh! David Tent, Green Screen Secrets, and some David. Yay! Awesome. And how they um, use green screen to make all the real cool effects. So that real good article. And here we have the Doctor Doctor page. Dear Doctor. My TV has turned into a Cyberman and he keeps eating current buns. What do I do to stop him? Do you mean current buns or is it eating current buns? Buns fizzing with pure electricity? If so, you should definitely stop letting it eat them. It'll be stopping its metal face to power, power, power up its weapon core. Try flipping stations to the intergalactic shopping channel, then hide the remote control. They're bound to be running a sale on cheap gold trinkets, and your cyber tally won't like that one little bit. Cyber pop unsorted, sharpish. Dear Doctor, which monster is most likely to steal your bow tie and why? Oh, they'd all love to have a go to make off. So I'll start that again. The Doctor replies, Oh, they'd all love to have a go to make off with my dicky bow. Autons like dressing up. 
so he wouldn't put it past them. And they absorb lots of clon, like to look smart if they're in the skies. Not so much when they're running about in their dirty underpants. Headless monks less than likely, not having much of a neck left to tie a tie around. There's not much chance of anyone stealing my ties anyway, as we're all fitted with a clever sonic burglar alarm in the boat. Better to be safe than uncool, eh kids? Okay. Dear Doctor, It's hard for me to speak. Every night I see flashing yellow and green lights that dance around the room. Tell me, is it aliens or ghosts? And how can I stop them so that I can rest for once? They fit from the smiley nebula, neither alien nor ghost, more a higher state of consciousness. But on a slow tune, a gentle cha-cha-cha or a waltz should calm them down and gently mix into a soft lullaby until they drift off altogether. On no account, try to tempt them with some end-ups on anything faster than 60 BPM. Top three slimes. One, whale bomb. Two, exploding slithy. And three, alien boobers. Yup. Up no page has a Dalek creation made out of autumn things they found and cool pictures of a silent TARDIS Daleks. Who made TARDIS console? And <laughs> just as a Doctor Who pig and packaging that's pretty funny. And the monster crime watch because the silence, <coughs> the evidence says I drive. Crime scene, joy. Crime scene, gun talk. Crime scene, Cavarium. And apparently they're not guilty because the Jadine's forgotten all about them. Then you've got eye puzzles. Then we've got the Ultimate Dalek Collection, Original Dalek. First seen in the first Doctor episode, The Survivors, 1963. So that's cool. Then next week you've got Monster, Monster Bumper Issue. There's loads of goodies in it. And who said, when's the council going to fix this? Last night my telly went off in the middle of top mod. Natural. Anyway, next week. Last week's answer was Canton and the Impossible Astronaut. I got that right. This particular issue. Yay! Thank you for watching. Yeah.